right, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Remember to follow me to the good. Where is the good and the bad time. The fridge was off the entire time. Since how long? I don't know. I don't know how food. All the food we, we bought for the trip, it's my all Ghana. Um, right now, I'm on my friend's catamaran. It's a really nice boat and a really nice uh, couple here. It's uh, His name is Renal and Michel. You can see him. Hello. <laughs> Their story are really inspiring. I have to share it with you guys. All right, let me introduce you my friends here. They are really, really interesting people. You need to know their story. <laughs> Our, story. Our story. Hi, Debbie. Yes, I met them last year here. They really wanted to learn how to free dive, how to interact with sharks, to interact with nature and learn everything, you know, like kids, you know, they were really excited about everything. And uh, I was more than happy to show them my underwater world. They became kind of hooked a little bit to it and they have a lot of other projects as well. I would like to know um, if it's fine for you, your background and also if you can see your age, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah that's great. Interesting. Uh, I'm 64. I'm Michelle. I'm 63. We've been uh, sailing together now for the last three years or so and uh, I ended up buying the catamaran out of the Miami Boat Show in 2015 and I was retiring in that year and I, we, I moved aboard. I've been living aboard uh, Guinevere now for the last five years. It's been incredible. Meeting you last year, David, has been a real treat. <laughs> David helped us get our certification, our PADI certification for free diving. Now we're exploring another dimension of swimming with sharks because it's happening more and more that we're encountering sharks when we go spear fishing and, and whatnot. And we want to know what to do and not panic and not be intimidated uh, by them. So that's where we're heading off right now to do. To take them with the hammerhead and tiger sharks at Bimini and Tiger Beach. They will be definitely more comfortable with sharks after this trip <laughs> because uh, they will see the pretty much the biggest sharks in the Bahamian water. There's nothing really afraid you after that, I think. How do you feel about it? A little nervous, and we <laughs> looked up sharks last night and which one's <laughs> on a hammerhead internet. and on the internet, yeah. different yeah. sharks Did and, you what look their, yeah. and what their temperaments are and whatnot because this is totally new to us. We're, we're excited and a little nervous. The passion that I'm getting from David is I love swimming, I love the ocean, we live on the water and we know there are sharks under there so I just want to be comfortable when one comes up to me. David is just so comfortable talking about them. You talk like they're your friends and you they know are. their emotional space and how to handle them and so I just want to be as excited as David when I go in the water and I see a shark I just want to be comfortable and enjoy the moment and enjoy the creatures that are so beautiful in this ocean. Uh, and be okay with it and not hear all these other horror stories that we hear about sharks because they are beautiful yeah and i just want to feel like you do david so that's why we're <laughs> joining you and trusting him to take good care of us so i feel better than i did a few days ago so i'm excited <laughs> i know we're about to take off and sail to bimini so um yeah the moment that you will see this big creature that we heard all our life that will kill you if you see it yeah just swimming next to you or coming over just to get some attention yeah positive attention nice attention you nice will attention. see it will change your life on top of of that that is really impressive to me that uh at this age they still like like kids you know they want to learn everything and enjoy life it's inspiring i think and they also told me another story of the future plan that they want to do and i really want this to be shared can you tell me a little bit about the backpacking adventure you want to soon actually next year right yeah, yeah coming up in september being on the water full time ren and i wanted to explore more the land and there's two ways of getting there either we sail there or we fly and go explore land so we decided to take a backpack only and uh, literally go to europe and, and um just backpack it like bums not even bums just go and backpack Back until back. our t-shirts fall off our back and so with the backpacking trip, one of the reasons why we thought of flying somewhere is we're hooked on the Bahamas. I mean, you know, we've sailed a lot of different places in the world and we absolutely love sailing here. The waters, the beaches, the fish, the wildlife in the water is absolutely amazing here. And that's why we thought we really don't want to sail somewhere different. We want to still stay here for quite a while. And so that's why we're going to fly to uh, to Europe and backpack for a month. Probably Maybe four, two. Four, yeah, Maybe a month, three. two months, <laughs> you know, and just do some backpacking. But we know that we're going to be coming back here, back on the boat, 
because we're going to leave our boat here in the Bahamas when we leave. And who knows what's next? You know, the nice thing about, we don't say we're retired because right. that, that doesn't feel right. <clears throat> Even when David said your age, I mean, that's my calendar age, 63. I literally, <laughs> I don't know what I feel. I don't feel whatever society thinks that 63 should look like or feel like. So <laughs> right. I'm telling you now, we're, and you can reverse aging by living a life of freedom. This is giving us the ability on a boat and then just doing what we want to do. Yeah. Meet people like David like, yeah. along our way. and We had just, no idea we were going to be doing that. Doing, yeah. you know? And we're open to it. And that's the know? beauty of living the way we're living. Minimalistic, not owning a house and stuff to have to carry with us. And I downsized everything in my life. And when I met Ren with the boat and he just said, you want to hop on board? And I went, oh my God, are you kidding? And I had to sell everything. And even my kids go, you know, what are you doing, mom? And I said, jumping on a boat and I'm going sailing. <laughs> and uh, yeah. it's been great. We love it. We love yeah. the freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something I want to add too is watching what David's doing at, at your age. Yeah. That, that's just mind blowing. And doing what you did, just packed up and never been on the water, never sailed before, and doing what you're doing, man, hindsight, if I knew what I know now. I'd maybe be taking a page from what you're doing. You're such an inspiration. Yeah, you're very much an inspiration. But, I think yeah. you guys are also an inspiration, and I think people should take example of the way you see life. Yeah, minimal and living simple. a dream. Yeah, and living a dream. We and are. you know what? It's only a dream when it happens because I never thought I would end up on a boat on water. <laughs> <laughs> you know, neither did you. I didn't plan this. Yeah, it just it manifested. You know, yeah. I love the ocean. I was always on the water. I met somebody and uh, fell in love and here I am on a boat yeah. and sailing so it's great. So, thanks for sharing all those information. Yeah. I really appreciate it and I hope you guys do. Um, right now we are going to sail to Bimini. It's a 20, 20 24 hours uh, journey. Are you guys ready? Yeah, Time to lift anchor. Yeah. I'm so Let's ready. That would See be you amazing. in Bimini. Okay. <laughs> Before I leave this boat, I will, I will have to show you some part of your boat. So you will see the beautiful Genevieve. Guinevere. That's okay. Guinevere, That's Guinevere. A, everyone struggles with it. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a struggle. The beautiful Guinevere. The beautiful Guinevere. Guinevere. What do we have? The table. Beautiful wine. What, what Guinevere means? Guinevere was a goddess in the days of Sir Lancelot and uh, King Arthur, and she was their mistress. She was in love with both of them, so they called her a mistress instead of a lover, and she was a goddess. We even have her book below. So oh. she's a goddess of love. The master suite. There's lots of room as you can see, especially women that love their clothes. Master oh, wow. bed. And we have a seat, stairs, cabinets everywhere. Full bathroom with a shower and a bathtub in this. Even a bath. Beautiful sink. This is a little different. We have a full on freezer. Can you imagine? Oh Look at my the luxury god. Of For all what? the grouper and the lobster that we had. Lots of cupboard space again, hanging space, full on bathroom, shower. This is my favorite because you can look out onto the water. Oh my god. I have to say that the view from here is yeah. amazing. Look at that. Oh wow. You can control almost everything from here. Thank you so much for having us on board. That was welcome, our pleasure, David. Really grateful. Let's go. All right, we are already on the way here. I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. I don't know about my sister. What about you, Sin? Are you excited? Uh, a little bit. I'm not sure about the chart yet, but uh, yeah, I'm excited about the way to go at, in Bimini. Yeah. <laughs> She's not sure about the sharks, but once you're in the water and you see those creatures. Um, you're good. So I'm confident. Yeah, she will be fine. And look, we have some food for our friends right here. The banana system. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way you found to keep the banana longer? Yeah. <laughs> so it should be suspended and don't touch each other and not in the sun. And yeah. <laughs> look at that. Engineering 101. Since you're long, yeah. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, please give a thumbs up. Follow me on YouTube, Patreon, and Instagram. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs>